Good, good morning, everyone. Good morning. You're very welcome to our open air service here in Tulna Kill. I, I thought I would look for a verse of scripture to open with, and I opened the Bible, and it's this. Give glory to the Lord your God before he brings the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully the rain is still an hour off. So we'll have a dry enough uh, service. But you're very welcome uh, to this um, ancient ruin of uh, Tulna Kill. Uh, this present church that you see here um, dates back to uh, 1639. Uh, but there was a church in this site uh, going back to at least the 13th century. So we really are on uh, a sacred ground going back down through uh, into the annals of history. Now, it's wonderful to see boys and girls here. You're very welcome. I hope you're enjoying the last few days of summer. And we've never had a dog service, but I think we might have one this morning. (laughs) To the the dogs, you're very welcome to our service. Well, we're going to begin with uh, our opening hymn, which is very well known. It's Give Me Oil in My Lamp. And we're grateful to Peter, who is playing uh, the keyboard for us. like this we remember that we are the church the people of God and the church is primarily the people who make up the church body and more so than uh, the buildings but we think today of those people who have gone before us those people who lived here in this place who worked here in this place and who uh, tried to build a better future for the generations uh, that would follow them And so uh, we reflect on all those who have gone before us. And yet uh, we look to the future, we look forward in faith, and we think about what we can do in this our day and generation. And as we gather as God's people in this place, uh, we remember that we often fail each other and fail God in what we say and in what we do and in what we think. 
And so we take time to reflect on this and to seek God's forgiveness, assured of his love and mercy. We say together, Heavenly Father, we are sorry that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. Please forgive us and help us to live a life of love, joy and peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we hear the good news of God's forgiveness. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the collect appointed for today. Almighty God, you called your church to bear witness that you were in Christ reconciling the world to yourself. Help us to proclaim the good news of your love, that all who hear it may be drawn to you through him who was lifted up on the cross and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Now, it's great to see boys and girls here at uh, church with us this morning. And it's been um, a pretty damp summer, hasn't it, boys and girls? There hasn't been much by way of sunshine. But you could almost set your clock by it, because when September comes around (laughs) and you go back to school, there's usually glorious sunshine. And I suppose that's a good way to start the school year. Well, we're going to uh, sing a little song. And sometimes when we start the school year, we're going into um, maybe a new classroom, new teachers learning new things, new subjects, and that can be a little bit daunting. But we're told in the Bible that God is always with us, so therefore we should be bold and we should be strong. We should try new things and be confident in him and confident in ourselves. So we're going to sing a little song which reminds us of that. It's Be bold, be strong, for the Lord your God is with you. So, I think um, if you you step, boys and girls, stand. We've got some actions to this. And Colin's here too. Colin's very good at the actions. (laughs) (laughs) It depends what action you're talking about. Here we go. So... um, So after three, one, two, three. Be bold, be strong, for the Lord your God is with you. Be bold, be strong, for the Lord your God is with you. I am not afraid, no, no, no. I am not dismayed, not me, because we're walking in faith and victory. Come on, walk in faith and victory, for the Lord your God is with you. And with the dogs too. (laughs) Well done, boys and girls. Give them a round of applause. Now, one of the great traditions that the Christian church continued from the Jewish church was the saying and the reading and the singing of psalms. And today our psalm is Psalm 124. And it's there in your your service sheet. And we say this by alternate half verse. And again, this psalm reminds us that whatever we go through in life, God is with us. If the Lord himself had not been on our side, if the Lord had not been on our side, then would they have swallowed us alive. Then would the waters have overwhelmed us and the torrent gone over our soul. Over our soul would have swept the raging waters. But blessed be the Lord, who has given us over to be a great friend. Our soul has escaped as a bird from the snare of the fowler. The snare is broken, and we are delivered. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who has made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, 
and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The lesson this morning is from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 16, beginning at verse 13. Now, when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say John the Baptist, but others Elijah, and still others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Then he sternly ordered the disciples not to tell anyone that he was the, the Messiah. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, we sing a wonderful old hymn now, I'm Lord of the Church, and we pray for our renewing.
of mind, except in the meditations of all our hearts, be acceptable to God, now and always. Amen. Amen. Please have a seat if you have one. <laughs> you know, the rector's ever hopeful. He didn't timetable in the hour and a half sermon <laughs> when he said it would be right before 12. <laughs> I've tried to keep it shorter, actually. Did you, did you, like, the, did you like my promotion, by the way? <laughs> look, uh, look yeah. I, mean, I don't want you to miss this. <laughs> look, have a look at the sheet now. The rector of Tom the Kill. <laughs> what do you say there, Alexander? <laughs> hey? <laughs> Not like the time when I walked into a, a conference and I, I seem to get beset by one or two people, you know. I don't know whether they're the, the Mona Brigade or not, or they put up with your brigade. But uh, I told my, the head of my Sunday school, would, would they please go and get me the badge that we're supposed to be wearing, you see. So she came and pinned it on me, helpfully. Every time I went to speak to somebody, after a few seconds or a little time, smirks came across their face. I thought, what the so says, am I particularly beautiful today? And that would be hard. My mother, my mother never thought so. <laughs> but uh, so I took the, looked at the badge. Wrecker. <laughs> <laughs> Wrecker of Cobra. <laughs> but anyway, we're in a wreck today in one sense. But one of the things about this wreck here is it did, as the rector said, a very important job. But two, the rector's already really stolen my thunder. Because the people of the church. And it's lovely that the people, you people, come along and kind of continue to claim this as God's area. As we particularly, I suppose, think of the people who are buried here. I met a lady here, June, today, who's telling me about her family uh, being buried around here. I dare say to some of the others of you. But notice, even with the roof off, look at the stones. Are they neatly put in? Are they loose? They're integrated, aren't they? They're integrated. And just because the roof's not here, and things aren't our normal way, and again, the rector's already touched on this. I'm taking my reading from Romans, because mea culpa, I didn't let the rector know that I wasn't going to use the gospel. But listen to this, because I think it's more apt to, what, where, to where we are today and what it helps to teach us, even being here. And this is from uh, St. Paul's letter to the Romans. I think this might be St. Paul up here in the, the windowsill. He, if he goes to sleep and falls out, we know he's rep, re, replicating St. Paul. <laughs> yes, George. Well, don't take him with you. <laughs> and it's a chapter... Well, I've lost it already. Yeah. Chapter 12. I believe. Come back to it. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of Christ, of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, is good and pleasing and perfect will. For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourselves more highly than you ought to, but rather think of yourselves with sober judgment in accordance with the measure of the faith that God has given you. Just as each of us has one body with many members, so these members do not all have the same function. So in Christ, we who are many form one body. And each member belongs to all the others. We have different gifts, yes, according to the grace given us by God. And if a person's gift is prophecy, let him use it in proportion 
in proportion to his faith. If it is serving, let them serve. If it is teaching, let them teach. If it is encouraging, let them encourage. If it is contributing to the needs of others, let them give generously. If it is leadership, let them govern diligently. If it is showing mercy, let them do it cheerfully. We don't have the same uh, things at hand that we have in the church to engage us in worship. That we don't have them here. We're out in, under God's roof, literally, in an old place that gave to God with, and built community. And we are claiming it as a continuing community here. So our, our, our worship today really is spiritual. We've nothing else to rely on. Well, we've each other. And we're pouring out our hearts, looking for the renewing of our minds, the greater understanding of God. Whatever way it comes to us, come to each of us differently, because we are different people. Yes, our memory are, are many are many different parts of our body. Remind us of how diverse we are and how inter connected our bodies are like the stones in this church interconnected to hold it up even after all these years the roof's been taken off there's, it still stands strong still stands as a witness to the faith of our forefathers but we we're the living stones we're the living spiritual worship here today and we rely so much more just on being the, the renewal of our minds or the living sacrifices. We've got nothing else to help us today but each other. And with, with the many gifts we have, we can make such a big team. And we do. But we can always make it better with this help of the Holy Spirit. You might say to me, I'm going to finish with this. But look, this can be done outside by people. We know lots of people who are terrific build community and are lovely people but there is a difference and that is that when we try to follow Christ it then comes with a greater sense of uh, God's input of the Holy Spirit's input of peace of not being not of being humble not thinking too highly of ourselves but sober judgment says we real about ourselves, but we real about each other and kind to each other, and use our different gifts to interlink, build community, build a church. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity, even as little spits of rain come down, to be in a holy place, a place dedicated to you. And even here, perhaps even more so, refresh us, Lord, as we learn that we are so interlinked, like these stones, like our bodies, interlinked with each other, encouraging each other, forgiving each other, prophesying, if that's, us, if that's our call, teaching, and to do everything with a cheerfulness, the abundant life that Christ talks about and gives to us. Through him we ask you it. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Colin. Well, as Colin was saying there, um, we have each other, but we need the Lord to bring us together. And this hymn uh, reminds us of the Lord's role in doing that. It's bind us together, Lord, bind us together with cords that cannot be broken.
Let us pray. St. James writes, draw near to God, and God will draw near to you. We give thanks to God for the church throughout the world. Heavenly Father, you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, into the world with a message of hope and salvation for every tribe and people. Thank you for planting the church in every land and continent, especially in this, our own land. May your church continue to be salt and light in our community, reaching out in love and service, and making a difference in the lives of men, women and children, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray for the peace of the world, especially in Ukraine. Almighty and everlasting God, you are a God of righteousness and justice, full of compassion and mercy. Hear our prayer which we offer for the world, especially for the people of Ukraine. Restore justice, we pray, defeat evil and oppression, and bring healing to our broken world, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we pray for the people of this area, especially those whom we know and love. Heavenly Father, you love and care for all people. Bless us richly with so many good things. Help each and every person in our community, especially those who are in any kind of need at this time. May they know that in life you are with them and that as your people in this place, we are here to help and support them. And this we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And we pray for those who will be ordained this day in Down Cathedral. We pray for Claire, for Cosman, for Stuart, and for Timothy. We thank you, Lord, for calling people to the life and work of the ministry. May your servants, Claire, Cosman, Stuart and Timothy, know your peace and your presence. Equip them for the ministry of the word and the administration of the sacraments. And through their gifts and abilities, may they bring hope and healing to many lives. For this we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And we pray for all who are bereaved this day. We think of the family of Elizabeth Johnson. We thank you for her faithful ministry over the years in India and here at home. For the time we spent with her and for the legacy she has left. We pray also for those other families who are bereaved at this time. We pray for the Puller family circle, for the Hunter family circle, for the Kay family circle. For we all have lost loved ones. May they know your comfort and your strength. Lord, in your mercy. Your and in a time of silence in this beautiful ancient place, we bring our own personal prayers unto God.
Lord, in your mercy. And we pray for all those boys and girls and those young people who are returning to school. And those young people who are heading off to college and university. We pray, Father, that they would know that they are loved by us and by you. Help them to recognize their true value and worth, to use their gifts and abilities to make a difference in the world, and bless all their endeavors as they seek to learn new things about themselves and this world. Lord, in your mercy. And we join together in the Christian family prayer, Our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now may the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and all whom you love this day and forevermore. Amen. to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. 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 So what we'll do is if um, tall ones can go to the back.
Roger, would you mind taking the photograph? Yeah. Yeah, that would be terrific. Uh, 